The city of Charleston's Peninsula Plan is a guide officials are using to lead the peninsula in the right direction over the next 10 to 20 years. Carly Baker joining us now live from the public forum, which is a part of phase one. And Carly, what other details can you share with us? This plan is a way for city officials to connect with community members to make decisions about the future of the peninsula. They are focusing on four main areas, adapting to water concerns like flooding and sea rise level, making sure people can get around safely in all forms of transportation, improving neighborhoods and supporting a thriving and equitable economy that meets residents' needs. They are finishing phase one of the plan right now, which includes gathering information from the public. Phase two starts next week, which involves coming up with solutions from the information they have gathered. Phase three is anticipated this summer and will finalize all the solutions. So one of the things that we really want to do with this planning process is not just create another plan that provides a host of recommendations, but how do we actually take all of these existing plans and studies and put them into action? The city also plans to discuss decisions about development on the peninsula waterfront and what that district should be prioritizing. They hope to wrap that process up this spring. If you want to express your opinion on the peninsula plan, you can visit peninsulaplan.org slash engage where they have a virtual meeting that anyone can attend at any time. We will also have that link posted on our website. Reporting in Charleston, Carly Baker, Live 5 News.